This video will teach you how to properly set up and run your PC planner. Please watch the additional videos for full in-depth information regarding all aspects of your system. Your shipment will arrive in a discrete plain box. First, unpack your box and make sure all items listed on the packing list are included. If any item is missing, make sure it's not marked as back order. If it is, we will get that item to you ASAP. To open your system, simply pull on the side door handle to view the contents inside. First, place the air stone with attached tube into the hole on the rear of your reservoir. Next, fill each of the two nut pots with the included clay pellets and insert an organic starter plug if starting from seeds. Make sure the reservoir is filled to the top, especially when starting from seeds, to maintain proper moisture levels on the starter tubes. The cube should be whipping up moisture during the entire germination phase. If not, then place your growth cubes deeper into the net pots. For best results, we recommend using bottled water. Note that with the PC planner, since you will not be in a vegetative stage for very long, you will only have a high pressure sodium bulb. Now that your reservoir is set up, plug in the power strip and any other remaining male power cords. Your thermal switch is already built into your system, so no need to worry about that. When you start the flowering phase, which we'll touch base on in the weekly checklist, you'll need to plug the white power cord from your ballast into your light timer. Your temperature and humidity gauges are very easy to set up. Simply place the remote sensor within your grow box near the plant growing tips. Follow the written directions for a detailed description of your interface options. Some key notes though, your internal temperature should be between 75 and 87 Fahrenheit. If you start to go over 95 Fahrenheit, you will start to damage your plants and if you're below 75 degrees, you'll significantly slow your plant's growth. Humidity is not a very important factor. However, in the earlier plant stages, you want higher humidity, example being above 40%, whereas during flowering, you want lower humidity, below 40%. The main tool to determine just how much nutrients to use is your TDS meter. This device lets you know how high the nutrient level is in your reservoir. It measures nutrient levels in PPMs, or parts per million. To begin, check the PPM of your water. Purified water is fast, and if you're using purified water, your starting PPM could be less than 20. If you're using tap water, the PPM must be below 250, or your water is too polluted to use on plants. If your tap water is not very clean, you may order one of our reverse osmosis water filters to clean out the plant toxins normally in tap water, such as chlorine and fluoride. This kit includes pH up, down, and a pH testing kit. The testing kit is similar to that of testing pool water. You want your water's pH to be between 6 and 7. If the pH is too high, example 8.5, you need to add the pH down to reduce it. If it's too low, example 4, then you need to add pH up to raise it. You should check your pH once every couple of days. A good sign of plant growth is that they will reduce the pH of the water and make it more acidic. Generally, we will be using more pH up than down. If you let your pH get too extreme, then it will most assuredly result in plant sickness and death. Be sure to keep an eye on your overall water level because when water evaporates, it can concentrate nutrients and throw the pH in your reservoir off much faster than if the same water level is maintained. Let's run through your expected results from your first week. From seeds to two inches tall, you could add only one quarter teaspoon of Floronova growth to your reservoir. You don't need to worry about your pH or TDS levels much right now if you started with reasonably good water. You should also add 1 8 teaspoon of chlorolithus plus vitamin mix to the reservoir. At the end of week one, if you have good seeds, you should see plants between 1 to 4 inches tall. During week two, you'll notice an incredibly rapid increase in plant growth. They will grow from 2 to 8 inches tall during this week. The most important thing to do during this week is switch to the flowering stage once your plants are roughly three inches tall. First, once they hit three inches tall, empty out your reservoir and add fresh water. You also switch from Floronova Grow to Bloom and keep the nutrient levels at 2 to 400 ppm. Now change your lighting cycle from 24 hours of light to 12 hours of light and 12 hours of darkness using the lighting timer. Now add 1 8 teaspoon Bushmaster Vertical Growth Inhibitor to the reservoir and spray the leaves with spray and grow for optimal results. Finally, after adding nutrients, be sure to check the pH is around 6.5. If it's too low, add pH up until it reaches the 6 to 7 pH zone, and likewise for pH down. Week 3 should be when you start to determine your plant sex. To determine your nutrient level, add Floronova Bloom until you reach 600 to 1000 ppm. 
During week three, you will be mainly looking to weed out males and optimize flowering in females. Continue to use flower over bloom to maintain your proper nutrient levels. But during this week, you can also add one eighth teaspoon of cool bloom to your reservoir for an added flowering boost. Continue to spray with spray and grow for the best results. Watch the gender identification video to learn how to sex your plants properly. If you start to notice odors, feel free to open the lid of your own odor block, which should cancel out any smells. This should be your final week if all has gone well today. For this last week, you'll be cutting your nutrients down to 300 to 500 ppm. This reduction in nutrients helps stress the plant enough to put all its energy into its remaining flowers. If your plants are fruit producing, feel free to pick fruit during the entire cycle. If you're growing plants such as basil and wish to dry it, simply cut the base of the plant stem near the base of the nut pot and put in the bottom of your system against the side walls with the reservoir removed. Then run all your cooling fans and Una odor block. The plant should be cracked or dry within 48 hours if your room humidity is below 30%. Now that you've successfully gotten your cycle done, you can wash your system down and start all over. If you have overgrowth issues and forget to flower early enough, you can bend your plants over once they reach the top of your system. Do not trim them except as an absolute last resort. Don't be concerned about high power bills as this unit runs less power than the standard light bulb. Make sure to give your system a full 10 minutes to fire up properly so your bulb comes to full